NHS want people with a learning disability to have good health and to stay safe. That is why they invite people with a learning disability to have vaccines. Vaccines help protect people from illnesses such as COVID or flu. People with a learning disability often have other health conditions that can put them at higher risk if they develop COVID or flu. The symptoms of COVID and flu can be similar. People may feel hot, tired or weak. Their whole body may ache and they may develop a cough. Anyone who becomes very ill with COVID or flu will end up in hospital. Vaccines don't stop everyone from getting COVID or flu, but they reduce the chances of someone getting very ill if they do. Vaccines are free to have and often called jabs, injections or immunisations. Having a vaccine means that you will have a needle at the top of your arm. The vaccines do not give you COVID or flu. You'll be invited for a COVID or flu vaccine by your surgery. They may send you a letter in the post. You may get a text message or they may call you. You may have separate appointments for COVID and flu vaccines, but sometimes you will be invited to have them at the same time. When you are invited for a vaccine, you or someone who supports will need to make an appointment using the information provided in the invite. Sometimes the invite gives you an appointment time straight away and you just need to turn up when it says. You can cancel and rearrange the appointment if it's not convenient. If you'd like any reasonable adjustments for your appointment, let them know so they can prepare for you and make you feel comfortable when you arrive. Examples of reasonable adjustments may include your vaccine at a quiet time, asking people to speak more slowly to you. You may ask for a longer appointment so that you can ask lots of questions. If you have a bus pass and can only use it certain times of the day. You can ask to have your appointment at a time when you can use your bus pass to get there and get back. Some people have their vaccines at their GP surgeries and some are to told to go to a different place in the community. You will be told where to go when you receive or book your appointment. If you are nervous about having your vaccine or need help at the appointment, you can take someone with you. At your appointment, you may be asked to fill in a form to say that you are happy to have the vaccine. You may be asked to wait your turn. Someone will call you when it's your turn. Don't wear too many layers to your appointment and make sure you wear loose clothing. This will allow the person giving the vaccine to get to the top of your arm quickly and easily. So we're going to give you an injection today. That's right. You can ask questions at any time. It might hurt for just a few yes. seconds and then it'll all be finished. Yes. You may feel a little bit of discomfort when the needle is put in the top of your arm. However, this will only last a few seconds. You do not need to look at the needle and you can hold someone's hand to comfort you if you're nervous. Okay. Some people have sore muscles, a headache, a high temperature after vaccines. Some people will have an arm that aches and feels a little bit sore for a couple of days. If this happens, you should rest. You can take paracetamol if you want and are able to. Remember to always check the paracetamol packet to see how many are safe to take. If you are worried about COVID or flu vaccines and need more information, you can speak to your doctor or nurse before making an appointment. Vaccines do not last forever and you are usually 
offered them every year. However, you may also be invited to have one at other times, so it's important to get another one when you are invited. Just remember, getting the COVID or flu vaccines is the best way to protect yourself and keep your friends and family safe in winter. Mm -hmm.